there is a standard test method in the industry called random tumble pilling. And this test has always been important to us because if you do not properly develop that fabric or monitor it carefully in production, you definitely will have issues with pilling. Pill is formed when you can tease a fiber out of the surface of the fabric and it doesn't break off. Instead, it will grab onto any available lint like when you're laundering and it will roll that lint down into a ball or pill against the surface of the fabric. So what's happening in random tumble pilling? We take three squares out of the dye lot we're testing. Those three squares will go into a cork lined chamber. Cork is providing friction and there are impellers in the center of that chamber which are beating up that, those fabric squares. We're trying to tease the fiber out of the surface of that fabric. But in order to have pilling happen, you actually have to have what's called a lint donor. So we add a third of an inch of this cotton fiber. It goes into the chamber, which is now injected with air. So everything is tossing and turning, trying to tease a fiber out of the surface of that fabric, incorporate that loose lint, and make a pill. And when the 30-minute test has completed, we compare the three squares to standard photographs. All of our suppliers utilize these same photographs. You have to be able to describe to your supplier on the opposite side of the world what you're seeing in this laboratory, so you give it a grade. This is the industry standard called grade three or moderate pilling. Badger strives to be better than that. We want to be a grade four, a four or five, or here's our goal, a five. No pills on the surface whatsoever. With those, that long development process that we placed on our poly fleeces, we can beat that industry standard. Here's an actual sample of a test. It is our poly fleece. There are no pills on the surface. It is a solid five. No pills. Now we've talked about pilling. But when you talk about synthetics, you need to talk about picking and snagging as well. We have a standard test method in-house for checking the propensity of a dye lot to pick and snag. When we're testing a dye lot, we wrap samples around four polyurethane tubes. They go into a cork line chamber, which is, ha also has picking barbs on each side of that cube. We rotate the cubes at 60 RPM for 1800 cycles. And when the 30 minute test has completed, we take the fabrics off of the tubes and we actually count the number of picks and snags that have formed on those fabrics. That gives it a grade and that's how you tell your supplier on the opposite side of the world what you're seeing in this laboratory.